You don't have to go, Ravi. It's only a tradition after all. Don't worry, my little twig. I'll be very careful. The west wind won't get the better of me. Your daddy Ravi will be back soon. He's gone to find a lucky plant to celebrate your birth. The White Cliff, where the west wind blows all the time? Where you birds hardly ever go because it's too dangerous. It was to protect and bring luck to our egg. Ravi insisted on going, but he should have been back by now. <gasps> Ravi was maybe injured on the way. We've got to find him quickly and bring him back. We're going to need Cheel's help. Cheel, Vera and myself are going to fly to the White Cliff. I can't leave my egg on its own. But you're connected to Ravi. If we want to find him, we've got to use your instincts. Mowgli's right. Only you can feel his presence from kilometers away. Exactly. That's why Baloo is going to keep your egg warm. Huh? What? Oh, no. No, no. Come on, Baloo. We jungle kings will help. Have no fear. We will come to do you good. Through the nettles or through the mud. Why don't we ask Bagheera? Baggy's gone hunting. Have you forgotten? Hmm. Baloo, you can't fly. Or be carried on my back. However, you have soft, warm fur. Ravi and Vera's egg would be really comfy, cuddled up against you. Give me the egg. You're a marvelous bear. Happy hatching, Baloo! How's an old bear like me going to keep you warm without crushing you? You're so fragile. Baloo's changed into a bird. He's hatching out eggs now. <laughs> I order you to give me that egg. It belongs to Vera and Ravi. If you want it, you'll have to catch it. Give me that egg, Masha. It's Ravi and Vera's. I've got to keep it warm. <laughs> You're hatching out an egg? <laughs> I'm not joking. Give me that egg. Never. You know what? I'm going to eat it. Thanks to that egg, I'll have eternal youth. What utter nonsense. If you eat that egg, you'll just have a stomach ache. It's about to hatch. But Darcy said that if a monkey eats a newly laid egg, he or she becomes forever young. No, that's not it at all. I explained to Darcy that our eggs were the future youth of the jungle and that we should protect them from being eaten. Not that we should eat them to become young. That's utter nonsense. <laughs> Get my egg of eternal youth! <laughs> Ha <laughs> 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 
should have gone. You're right. It wasn't a good idea to fly in that kind of wind, my little twig. We ought to go. That wind can still give us some nasty surprises. <laughs> Those make you sneeze. They would do. It's mustard. Can you take a sprig, Mowgli? That way I won't have come for nothing. We'd be scared of the white cliff. Ha <laughs> ha. You don't know us very well. The egg. Give us the egg. <laughs> ah. You should have told me. I love family reunions. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Baloo? <laughs> Quick, chill! What shall we do? I don't know! Oh. Now it's just the two of us, my big balloon. I don't want to see this. It's too cruel! Move oh. away, Baloo! If I hadn't gone to find that stupid plant, I don't see what's so lucky about it. Ah. It's not magic that makes this plant lucky. <laughs> Mustard irritates cats' nostrils because they've got a very good sense of smell. <laughs> That's why it protects our newborn. It's not just a superstition. Thank you for looking after our egg, Baloo. Don't mention it. It was what I promised. Little egg! <laughs> if you have fleas and scratch your ear, we jungle kings will help, have no fear. We will come to do you good, through the nettles or through the mud. In the jungle book, it's in the jungle book. In the jungle book, it's in the jungle book. Two friends together. 
together, the jungle to explore.